Well, welcome back, my faithful viewers, and welcome to another video. Oh, dear. So, today, what we are having, we are having beef stew, just regular beef stew, uh, seasoning. I sliced up a whole onion, put in two pounds of potatoes. Um, I got these, um, these loin tips that they sell. Uh, at Costco, it's like twenty dollars for a pack, and they guys they gotta sell them, but they can't make medallions out of them because they're at the end and they kind of taper off. Well, I buy those, and then I cube them myself, and I make my own stew meat. <laughs> it's much cheaper that way. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And of course, mm. Mm. I put cheese on the potatoes, which is swimming around in the soup. But there's bacon in it, so that's okay. <laughs> ah, look at that. And it's so cold, so this is so nice and warm. Oh. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Just give me a few minutes, guys. I'm a little hungry. so good. Oh my god, that broth is so good. Oh. Oh, I outdone myself. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is good. That is so good. Woo! Oh, the whole deal. You don't have a good broth as your base for your soup. You're gonna have a pretty sad soup. Tell me that don't feel good. Yeah, weather's been getting cold. There's nothing better than having a nice bowl of something warm. Makes your whole body warm. But I do have an issue I want to talk about with everybody. Something I've been noticing that's been going around. Mm. 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 And I just want to let people know that I've been hearing, um, and I've got ears, 
I listen. And I noticed that, especially this time of year, that people like all oh, the the prices of gifts and people asking for gifts are like a lot of money. And then you you hear people like, "Oh, I spent so much this year. Everything's just getting so much expense. You know, so much more expensive." to get people what they want. Um, I tell you how I keep, um, how I say so happy during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm. Even though you have all this spending going on around you, Um, just a note of suggestion that may help. I don't pay attention to the prices. Don't pay attention. Uh, let me elaborate on that. <laughs> Do not expect a $500 gift from me in any way, shape, or form. I'm not paying attention to the prices. I would rather, if I can't make you something, whether it's baking or uh, cooking a dish, then sending the dish with you in a container, and then you get to keep the container. Um, of course, with the recipe, so you can recreate it. That's very nice gifts of what I've seen. Um, if you can, uh, I'm not saying me. You know, like, if it's going to cost you your peace of mind to enjoy the holiday, then it's not worth it. We shouldn't be, oh, the money this, the gifts that. And not everybody follows the same religious values as you do. So I'm going to, you know, put a blanket over it. It's, this is a time of year we come together to love each other, to help each other out. If we see someone that's struggling, we go over and assist them if we can. If uh, we can uh, spare that extra plate of food to someone who may not have eaten that day. And that's what this time of year is about. Giving to each other, helping each other. It's not about you. It's not about what you spend. It's not about the kind of gifts you give. You know. It's just I noticed that I was on a a chat just today actually. And it was a mom saying, Oh, he got everything he wants. It was expensive, but he got everything he wanted. And I'm thinking, is that the smartest thing to do? It's okay to tell a child no, you know, especially this time of year. Now, I do see, I do see why parents are doing that, because we're so busy throughout the year, um, going to work and not being there for certain events or certain milestones, that parents take this time of year to make up for that. You know, guilty conscience? Maybe. I don't think this is the way to make up for an event. You know, maybe take them out for an event that you could do together. Like, um, I don't know, something that doesn't cost very much money. Because the whole point is to get away from money. The reason why a lot of people don't like this time of year, you know, uh, set aside the ones uh, just from their families, or don't have any family or something traumatic happens around this time of year. Take that out of the equation, okay? Nothing bad happened to the person. They're fine with their family. They're great with their friends, neighbors. 
what is, drives him crazy is the materialistic items. We become so focused on what we don't have, we don't realize what we do have. And that's all it is, it is I mean, to reflect on what we do have and help your neighbors. And you're not getting my beef stew. I'm not sharing my beef with you. Or the stew. <laughs> he is going nuts down there. You see him? You see him? <laughs> he's making a cameo appearance. Yeah. You know, and I know most of you guys that listen to this right now. Mm. Most of you guys already know it. I'm not saying nothing that you haven't already put in practice. But maybe there's someone out there that just needs to hear it. You know? It just needs to hear it. It's okay. If you don't get a uh, sister Susie that a kit that she wanted, or you don't get brother Billy that um, that bike that he wants, you know, it, it's okay to say no. It's okay not to have it, you know, because that's not what this time of year is about, anyways. It's about being together. So if you wonder why. I go nuts around this time of year. It's because this is a time of year where I can do exactly what I want and what I intend to do throughout the year. And that's to care for people. And if I can help them, I'm going to. So, with that thought, <laughs> we're going to send you off. And we're going to hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I guarantee you kids will all get in up somewhere in the middle. And don't stress yourself out for the holidays. Enjoy them. Oh, go, go. <laughs>